I just want to talk about this experience of wanting to revamp my whole studio's entrance mural. I'm very fortunate that I got some sponsored paints. Some of them are from Dulux, some of them are from Nippon, and some of them are leftover paints that are already at the National Art Gallery for a long time. So I was very fortunate to actually get paints from all these people and uh, that's where it got me into wanting to get this revamping process out as fast as possible. So many of you probably have been to my art studio before. You may not have noticed that uh, you know the entrance might be just a little run down. Some of the students that I've met told me that they can't find my entrance and, and they said that we're not even sure if this is the place because I don't really have a signboard yet. So I just want to make the entire entrance like outstanding so that you will be able to want to step into it, probably find out what this is all about. The reason why I wanted to have it in such an abstract in an abstract looking wall is because I guess to actually paint something too realistic or too cartoonish might give the impression where it's either a kindergarten school or uh, I don't know what it is about like maybe a cafe and stuff. So make the entrance a little bit more welcoming than intimidating. Things are sort of like inspired by some Pinterest images but I didn't want to follow them exactly because with the amount of paints that I have it's more likely to just be like some patches here and some patches there and uh, practice more on my intuitive painting side so that's how it became this sort of painting. In the video I'll be sharing the amount of time that I use and also what are some problems that I faced and probably giving you some mini guidance on what you can do when you are painting. It's like an experience sharing. I'm not really here to teach you what to do. Basically, certain time lapse of myself doing it and also how hideous I look when I'm painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Before condition of my current studio, look at how the rusted conditions of the door are. in terms of the looks of it because it's very very run down. I intend to change it to a different color. I've already done the sanding and stuff. I also have this shoe rack that is actually not too bad in condition but I just want to get rid of the dust and uh, the conditions of it. See these two walls. The conditions of the walls are a little like, uh, you know, I've actually added some patches here to fill up the holes but uh, I'll be changing the color of this studio for sure. Something new and something I want to come to the studio every single day. So this is me now with the pants and clothes full of paint. And these are the progress of today. Started with some of the paints as well on the walls. But I'm tired, I have to be at home. These are paint stains all over my face. Here's me day two with painting and I have a problem. Let me show you. What's happening now is I got this paint in a pretty bad condition because it was supposed to be white. If you can see, white. But when I opened the top, it was already covered with like this kind of colors. I don't know what these are. And I removed the top of it. It might be some dried up oil and stuff like that. So I got this from uh, National Art Gallery. They have a lot of leftover paint. So I'll try and make do with using this color instead of white. For my door over there. A quick update for everything. I've done the first layer of gloss paint for the door over there. And uh, right now, I decided to actually work on the shoe rack as well, which is here. I've already primed it. Uh, it was initially in wooden color. It was really, really dirty. But I want to actually change the color to something cooler. And of course, this. I just decided that this door is actually also something that I wanted to change the, the color as well. So I'm currently planning halfway and I forgot to actually film the before. So this is where I come in and get this out. This round my project has a lot of 
wood base and metal base surfaces. How I do it is basically to have the area that I want to sand it. I have to use like sandpaper. Can you see this 320CW thing? I got it from Mr. DIY. It's like any hardware stores will actually have it. I have to first sand the area, clean the area, especially if there's a lot of dust. This project I'm using um, Nippon Paint Hydro Primer. So it's water based and it's easy to wash, thankfully. My hair and shit stuff is really gonna have a big hard time. Look at my face as well. So this one's really good because it doesn't really have a lot of like um, odor, like it doesn't really smell that bad. As opposed to like the gloss base kind, it's really really bad and it's really hard to wash it. I'm forced to use gloss right now because the previous time I was actually using the glossy paint which is the oil based paint. It got stuck to my fingers, I was using thinner to clean it off, it was crazy. I. My, my hands were burning and then I have to put on some lotion and put on the glove because really I can't deal with it. After putting up the primer, I will work with this color. It's a fire princess. So this one is a hydro gloss uh, paint. You can see that the lines here, it will be where I will stop my mural at because I can't finish all of this alone. It's so tall. And I'm too short for this. My leg is not tall enough. Right now, the entire feel of the place is so much better. It's so much brighter as well. And I'm really excited to see how it's gonna turn out to be. I've been painting for about three to four days in a row and right now I want to show you how is the progress like for what I've done. Let's see if it's something that you like. See the red, the pink color here. I actually thought it's oil based, but it's not. It's actually water based. But the finishing texture, let's see here, it's actually gloss finishing. And the gold paint's effects are really, really awesome. You can see how shiny it turns out to be, especially for my light letter box. You can see how much it's actually glowing under the light. So one quick fact about this door, basically I was supposed to get white paint for this but because the paint is quite old and uh, the top layer of the paint is quite brownish so eventually when I mix them all together it turns out to be the same color as the wall. So in a way this paint chose me. Similarly, it was the paint that I was just telling you guys about. 
The effect is really, really glossy and it's really, really amazing. Currently painting this right now, but the paint takes forever to dry. It's been almost overnight and a lot of the paints have been dripping down. So I will only be able to work on this right after it's dry and I'll add some of the gold paints on it. I even have this that I got from, uh, I did it for KL Fashion Week but unfortunately you only see like uh, the public's eye for about one day. Do some strokes on it to make it look more interesting. So you can see that this one is here. Making my customers here feel like they are world-class, expensive people. in place I hope you'll be able to come to the studio MTMT studios more often because there will be a lot of workshops happening over the weekends and we'll also have like um, day week weekday night classes or day classes for paintings going on but this is a really good place for you to learn a new skill pick up new skill or even um, make some new friends and Get yourself into a state where you can be your own artist one day. I would love to inspire more people and also be able to help people go through difficult times in their life. So I look forward to seeing you in MTMT MT Studios. Say bye. I want to say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>